my name is Salvador Rasul Hernandez and on the previous video we were talking about uh, the reach of cartels and mafias these enterprises are embedded in our society they employ enable and support normal members of society who knowingly and unknowingly receive benefits by association they also ruin people's lives by the clash and interactions of their lives the dangers of cartels and mafias to the normals as parasites who are not necessarily productive members of society gather wealth and resources they force an abnormality a sickness for us all as they continue their way of life to fuel their survival their power will grow until the rest of society the normals will no longer be able to function together society will not be able to tolerate or support all the unbalance their philosophy of parasitism forces on us there will be a point where society and the beast will clash only to our collective detriment <clears throat> the mechanisms control on cartels and mafias the mechanism sets up a cartel or mafia operations with every single thing that can be sold or traded with the support the support of whatever financial and reward system can be forcibly established that way it can mask its immor immorality and its misery as a normality it also destroys local and native networks who can independently function outside of the mechanism's control such as fully in an enable and enclosed small towns or indigenous groups who are who function outside of the mechanism's control and, and who set up systems of their own to this end it will toy with their survival peace and humanity until they succumb to change to the mechanism's benefit so in this book we're not just going to talk about uh, a, a single mafia or a single cartel because even uh, even one country uh, uh, when it fights with another country it uses cartel and mafia operations such as we had with uh, you know Castro and Cuba uh, so in this book we are going to explore cartel and mafia operations so to this end it will toy with their survival peace and humanity until they succumb to change to the mechanism's benefit uh, the next uh, paragraph is from the section demons and their secret operations uh, profiting from death <clears throat> one example of their immoral uh, secret practice is the profiting of death these services will sell expensive coffins to the family of the deceased and only then uh, to unearth them, unearth them as a way to recycle the product and resell the same product to another client the mechanism's technology can obscure the practices of the beast with great precision or better said without the humans being able to become aware uh, aware of it the mechanism operates outside of their awareness outside their reality this goes back to my other book uh, in which i talk about humans not having the senses to see the operations of other demented beings because that's what the mechanism does it separates uh, one part from another uh, group so uh, the mechanism operates outside of their awareness outside of their reality so the way we study mafia and cartel operations is that we notice their patterns and then we, we, we study how they, the impact that they have on us, the normals, the humans and, I, and uh, their fight to uh, enslave us as, the, as that is more beneficial to them <clears throat> 
Also, for more information, please see my other book, The Pyramid of Technology. and mafias masqueraded. So uh, the world they control, the world that the cartels and mafias control, is usually hidden from a normal society as the population, as the working class is busy providing for their homes, education, family, health and survival. Most people, unless they seek a criminal enterprise or run into a cartel or mafia members, will not, uh, not be subjected to interaction with each other. Cartel and mafia members will mingle and work along with the rest of society without risking discovery. It is natural for conflict to arise when the population comes in contact with these criminal organizations. Their lives are going to be subjected to abnormal, abnormal behavior. Most of the time, cartel and mafias will win the interaction as they have more resources available to them. And the public cannot possibly overcome them. Even the efforts of entire systems prove meaningless. Mafias and cartels submit the normals to their power by using ruthless and immoral practices. Uh, most people will be abused, robbed, toyed, toyed with, and forced to comply, tortured, oppressed, and outnumbered. Even systems that are set to protect them will only waste their, their resources, time, and faith. In the, in the case of resistance, all the parasites, animals, and demented will come to the rescue and support the destruction of the external, the, the threat, or the ones without the sickness. All of this is the collective result of a sickness that is supported by all of its systems. Sometimes the systems will also help in the pacification and rendition of the victim. Other times, cartel and mafia members usually seek and dominate the weakest member of the victim's family to favor a willing puppet who will, who will do, pretend, and support the disorder required to force their will with just threats and intimidation. If necessary, they might escalate their techniques as needed. These cartels and mafias also work in tandem with other corrupt secret organizations they, uh, that are established in all systems in all uh, systems of our advanced society such as the police, the legal justice, uh, all government agencies uh, and uh, the, the department in charge of establishing and enforcing order and those that protect the population the uh, systems that are in place to protect them will not be able to help them. Something that is very common in, 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 uh, uh, in Latin American countries. And their misery will be dismissed. Uh, the systems are inadequate and inept when it comes to challenging, disintegrating and dismantling uh, mafias and cartels. This is all by design. A mechanism that empowers all systems in place because it is beyond human knowledge and more adapted to deal with the human race individually and as, and as a whole. The mechanism sits at the top of all cartels and all mafias, controlling and maintaining a cycle that favors the mechanism's agenda. This goes back to the idea that the chaos, the disorder that the mechanism um, has, it self, it self uh, perpetuates, it recycles itself, it renews itself. Uh, so even all the efforts of, of, of more modern society to, to attack and, and, uh, and uh, 
protect the population cannot possibly overcome a, a mechanism that is beyond human uh, that is just uh, uh, <clears throat> that is uh, beyond human knowledge that we uh, are just beginning to study their mental financial and technology systems supersede any human control all of this uh, while all of the systems pretend to or delude themselves into thinking uh, the contrary the mechanism is beyond governments associations military organizations and any person or group uh, see my book my book the mechanism of creation in relation to our current manifestation for actual solutions to this predicament <clears throat> i want to share another paragraph of my book uh, <clears throat> the cartel of cartels uh, <clears throat> i want to give you an example uh, so that you can understand how what are the cartel and mafia operations uh, <clears throat> that exist in all uh, the systems that the uh, mechanism controls so an abused woman who is mistreated by a cartel or mafia replacement as she finds out about sexual abuse in the family and then takes the necessary steps to neutralize